In this video, we will guide you on how to fix the power outlet on your GMC Yukon by replacing the fuse. We'll walk you through finding and replacing the power outlet fuse across several generations of the GMC Yukon. So, let's get into it now. 2003-2006 GMC Yukon the power outlet fuse is often labeled as AUX PWR and SIG LTR in this range of model years. It can be found in the engine bay and vehicle's interior fuse box. The first of the two fuses will be located in the driver's side door. So here is the fuse. So there's a 20 amp fuse labeled AUX PWR2 in yellow color, and I think it's for the rear cargo area power outlet. Check if the filament inside the fuse is intact. If it's broken, replace the fuse with one of the same amperage. There's also another fuse that's under the hood. So here are the fuses. There is a cigarette lighter fuse with a 15 amp fuse in blue color for the power point, the one closer to the driver. There is also a 20 amp fuse in a yellow color for the front passenger side power outlet. Use a fuse puller or needle nose pliers to carefully remove the fuse. 2007 to 2014 GMC Yukon. In these years, the power outlet fuse can be found in the engine bay and vehicle's interior fuse box. The first fuse I want to check is in the fuse box under the front hood. So here's the fuse. It's a fuse number 53, which is a 20 amp yellow fuse. It is located in the middle of the fuse box, which is the fuse responsible for powering the main front cigarette lighter or the accessory power outlet. You can visually inspect the fuse for a broken filament. If it's broken, the fuse is blown and should be replaced. Next, you will have two more fuses to check, and they will be located in a small fuse box in a driver's cabin. So here they are. The first fuse you want to check is fuse number 2, a 20 amp yellow color responsible for the rear power outlet. The last fuse to check will be fuse number 16, a yellow fuse in the middle of the fuse box responsible for powering the accessory power outlet. to 2020 GMC Yukon. In these model years, you will have seven fuses in three locations to check. The first location that you need to check is the fuse box in the passenger's cabin. So here are the fuses. There is a cartridge fuse in yellow color for the power outlet fuse number four. There is also a 10 amp fuse in red color for the USB port and a 25 amp fuse for the 120 volt socket in the rear passenger panel. If you unhook the fuse box and flip it over, you'll expose the fuse on the back. There is also a cartridge fuse in yellow color labeled as power outlet fuse number three, AKA the cigarette lighter, Then we move to the other side, on the driver's side. You will find a cartridge fuse in blue color for the 2015 to 2017 models and yellow for the 2018 to 2020 models. It's labeled as power outlet fuse number one. On the back side of the fuse box, you'll find a cartridge fuse in blue color for the 2015 to 2017 models and yellow for the 2018 to 2020 models. It's labeled as power outlet fuse number two. Finally, in the trunk, you'll also find the fuse box. There's one 20 amp fuse in blue for the rear power outlet. It's essential to use a fuse with the exact amperage rating specified in your owner's manual to prevent electrical issues. 2021 to 2023 GMC Yukon. The newer Tahoe's power outlet fuse is only located in the passenger panel fuse block. You need to open the cover panel to expose it. So here they are. There are some USB port fuses that you need to check here. There is also a 30 amp fuse for power outlet number three, 
and I think it's for the rear socket in the trunk. Now, if you unhook the fuse box and flip it over, you'll find two 15-amp fuses in blue for power outlet number one and number two. If all these fuses prove to be good and one of your power outlets is still not working, you must look at the possible wiring issue or a failed power outlet. So there you go. I hope it was helpful. Please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if it was. Thanks for watching and see you next time.